He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim's Anniversary Edition DLC, playing on Legendary Difficulty and only using the weapons and armor newly introduced by the DLC Special Rules of Engagement for this build that we're creating from the ground up. And we started with a level 1 character, level 1 Dark Elf, and we've been building this from the ground up. We are a short distance away from the Golden Hills Plantation, a fantastic farm that has a whopping, I believe, 38 plantable plots on the either 38 or 39. I keep losing count every time I count them. I come up with a different count. To, we'll count them when we get in there. It's right here, um, west of Whiterun. We've been we've made the trek across the tundra, and we're here at Jukar's Monument, and it's just a little north of here, and we're about to take possession of it. So let's do this. This involves uh, quite the mystery, and we're going to solve the mystery, and once we solve the mystery, we're going to take possession of the Golden Hills Plantation. Then we're going to be a rich bitch, because we're going to have like so many, so many potions, um, you know, so many ingredients, it's going to be nuts. Absolutely nuts. We are already, you know, our garden at Mirror Watch is already producing to excess, and we just recently acquired the Tundra Homestead which added eight more plots and now we're gonna add 38 more plots on top of that as if we need it um, let's go do it it's right there this should be a cakewalk for the strike team the CC strike team so I'm just going to cast Oak Flesh while they're in combat to level up alteration that's pretty much it. Boys, we got some canine activity here. You always know when you go into combat when Ghost spawns, I see, spawns the Storm Atronach and that's it. There we go. Dude! Ha <laughs> ha! Doug! <laughs> Alright. There is the Golden Hills Plantation. And see that ghost there right above my uh, my cross here? There. As soon as you get near him, he's going to go into combat. And it's game on. I believe that's what starts the quest. It's called the Unquiet Dead. I don't believe we actually have the quest in our inventory as of yet. No, we do not. Alright. We're in combat. Alright, boys. You know the routine. There we go. Just, you gotta love Go. He's like... Trigger happy with that Storm Atronach. Like, oh my god, there's a butterfly! Spawn a Storm Atronach! Okay, they're gonna kill him. I think Go can kill the ghost on, on his own. Uh, Atar? What the hell? What, what am I hiring you for? Come on, you got all the gear? Oh, I guess he's like, you know. There you go. Go handle it all on his own. And so begins the Unquiet Dead. Our first objective is to search the plantation for clues. Stand down. Stand down. Okay. Look at these two blue butterflies. They're kind of like, you know, having a night out. <laughs> they got a babysitter for the kids and they're like, you know. Oh, honey, it's been so long. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Um, <laughs> Alright, so, you can search this guy, but what you really have to do is go inside. Urbel! And he's got a torn page. Torn out of what? We shall soon find out. I feel strange. Hot and cold all at once. My hand shakes, hard to write, so dizzy. I think I've been poisoned. Seems she's got the better of me after all. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's go inside. Alright. And this is... 
the inside of the Golden Hills Plantation before it's developed. We are tasked with searching the plantation for clues. So all you have to do is go upstairs and find Irval's journal right here and read it. Today's first day of our new lives. I bought a sizable piece of land with a rundown farmhouse for dirt cheap just out of Rorikstead. No one else wanted it on account of how rocky it is. Too many boulders, the other men said. But John Keel and I have strong backs and willing hearts who will get these boulders out and turn this fertile land into a plantation they could only dream of. This will be the perfect place to raise our little Rin. Rin is their, their little baby. Not baby boy, but their, their child. Okay. Long day, hand hurts, almost too much to write, farmhouses repair, the first plants are in the ground, feels good, we did it, John Kiel kissed me tonight like she did when we were first married. Oh, her eyes are calling me, her eyes are calling me, mm -hmm. okay. We harvested our first crops today, it wasn't much, but it's a start, when I watched the sun's rays first break over the horizon on our fields today, I knew what to name this place, Golden Hills Plantation, after Akatosh's glorious light, soon it will be an inheritance worthy of our son, just a bit longer. I know, I know it. Okay, and the next day, my heart is troubled. Rin is a fast, is fast growing into a strapping young boy, though he spends too much time playing with that wooden sword of his and dreaming of running off to join the Legion. But my dear wife, John Keel, her strangeness worries me. Sometimes she'll disappear for hours at a time and then turn up in the house as though she'd been there all along. I often see her carrying a basket full of strange dark flowers. She won't tell me what they are or where she got them. And last winter, when Rin fell ill with fever, John Keel produced a small black bottle from who knows where and poured who knows what down his throat. Robitussin! <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, only a few minutes later, the fever was gone. John Keel refused to tell me what was in the bottle or where she got it. I was so happy that she saved our little boy, of course, but... Mara preserved me. I'm afraid that my wife is a Daedra worshipper. Or a witch. A witch, I says. Rin has been missing for three days. My little boy. I've searched everywhere, but there's no trace of him. Even his favorite toy sword is missing. What if wolves got him? Or brigands snatched him away? John Keel has been watching me. I don't like the look in her eyes. And she hasn't cried at all. Hmm, interesting. What kind of mother doesn't cry when her child is missing? What if... I dare not even put the thought to paper. It's unthinkable. I found it. I found Jokil's secret. This is the place she's been disappearing to. The potions, the plants, the books, the porn. Oh, I'm kidding. There's no porn. Uh, such evil and unnatural things I found down here. Divines, help me. My wife is a witch. A witch, I says. I didn't want to open her foul books, but I had to know. I had to. Deadly Nightshade, that's what the plant is called, the one I saw her sneaking around with. She grows it everywhere in this hidden place. She must have poisoned my son. I've seen this. She must have poisoned my son? Okay. By the way, this is the first time I've actually read this. <laughs> okay. I've done this quest like, I don't know, half a dozen times. I never get into story. Um, she must have poisoned my son. I've seen the sneer on her face, the laughter in her eyes, and she watched me tearing apart the farm looking for him. She was mocking me. I never felt rage like this. I'm shaking with it. Sweating with it. I know exactly what I've got to do. My son's spirit whispers to me, demanding vengeance. I keep an axe by the door for dealing with wild animals. It will do for dealing with a witch as well. Wow. So the plot thickens. Okay, so we have a new objective. The new objective is find the hidden laboratory. All right? Boys, if we're looking for the hidden laboratory. Figure the best place to look is in the basement. Down the basement, at the bottom of the stairs, look for the button here. And as soon as you hit the button, it's game on. Door opens up. And... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And... There's the ghost. And the boys, the boys took care of her right nicely. Come this way, go. You gotta get out of the way. There we go. Had a boy. Okay, let me buy. And now our objective is search the laboratory for clues. All you have to do is find the journal here, John Keel's journal. 
and read it. Irvel wanted so badly to make a go at being farmers, so here we are with our own rocky plot of land and a ruined old farmhouse with a leaky roof. It's not what I dreamed of, but we'll make the best of it. At least the soil's good, even if it's full of boulders. I'll be able to get a nice garden going with all the ingredients I need for my potions. The income from income from that should get us through the first winter, if nothing else. I found the secret room walled off in the basement. It will do nicely for my alchemy lab. I love my husband dearly, but he can be a pig-headed dolt when it comes to the gentle magics of the earth. If it weren't for my potions, little Rin would have perished last winter from a fever. Our plantation is doing well enough, but Ervel's eyes are getting bigger than his purse. He was talking of purchasing a wagon recently. Like we don't sometimes struggle to put food on the table. A wagon, honestly. I've seen the ugly looks. He gives my potions and herbs, but where else are we going to get the money for all the things he buys? Next thing you know, he'll be trying to buy another farm. Uh-oh, sneeze alert. Oh! <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> okay. Rin's gone missing. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. His little warden sword is missing too. God's preserve... Okay, that should, that's a typo. It should be preserve me. God's preserve me. I hope... <laughs> I hope he hasn't run off. He doesn't realize how dangerous it is. it is out there on the tundra. It's been three days now. My little boy is still gone. I don't like how Ervel is looking at me. His eyes are too dark, too still, like a frozen lake. I think I even heard him mutter something about getting what I deserve. Could he have? No, I do not even put the thought to paper. He did it. He must have. That monster killed my son. And now he looks at me with those hate-filled eyes and a mocking smirk. He, despi he despises my alchemical art so much that he took my son from me to punish me. I never brewed poison before, but I know how it's done. I know how to bottle death. A few drops in his meat and my child will be avenged. So these two, they thought each other killed their son. This is so tragic. Okay, it is done. The gods will damn me, but they will damn him more for the murder of the child. Rin, I'm so sorry. I wish I could have. Wait, I hear some... Da, 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 da. And it ends there. Well, in case we have a new objective, find out what happened to Rin. So, best place to start searching around is in his bedroom. This cute little bedroom. Okay, and what you're looking for is the journal under his bed right here. Rin's journal. Ma and Pa are fighting again. They're always fighting these days. Ma hates how obsessed Pa is with cows and the price of wheat. All that boring stuff. Pa doesn't like Ma's flowers or her bottles of goopy stuff. I don't like the goopy stuff either, but it does make me feel better when I'm sick, so I guess it's okay. I can't wait until I'm old enough to join the Legion and get away from the farm. <laughs> I've been practicing every day with my sword. I think I'm good enough to be a captain or even a general. But Pa doesn't want me joining to join the Legion because he says I have to take over the farm when I'm old enough. Ma doesn't want me to go because it's dangerous. That's about the only thing they agree on. I bet if I defeated a bandit or killed a wolf or something that would show them. Then they would have to let me join up the Legion. Join up with the Legion. Pa always tells me to stay away from the old well, the one towards the tall monument out by the trees sitting on a rock. Wolves like to hunt there, he says. So that's where I'll go. I'll kill a wolf and bring home its head and that'll prove I'm a man, not a baby. I'm tired of listening to Ma and Pa yell at each other anyways. All right, new objective, find the old well. And one moment, please. Okay, I'm back. Just had to excavate the old nasal cavity. Okay, find the old well. Um, I think we were given a clue as to where it is. Anyways, in the book it says it's out by the, the tree on the rock towards the east and as you see see the tree right there on the rock that's obviously where it is so let's go out and check it out there is the old well Take the toy sword. 
here's the toy sword and we'll take his money too <laughs> and now we have to return the toy sword to the farm and give the boys a little bit of cardio Check out all these plots here. All this is going to be ours shortly. And once you get back to the farm, all you have to do is put the toy sword back in the kid's bedroom on top of this little commode here. And everybody appears. You going to let me by go? Here we go. Attaboy. All right, Rin. What's up? Need something? Your family can rest in peace now. Thanks a lot. Here, take this for all your hard work. And that's it. Gives you the key to the Golden Hills Plantation and thus completes the Unquiet Dead quest. And the new quest is going to start as soon as you step outside. A farmer's life. But you don't have to complete that. The main thing is that this belongs to us. We can build it up now. If you follow the quest... <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> if you follow that quest and all the objectives, it will teach you how to build up the farm. Um, we're just here for the plots. There are 11 plantable plots here. And every time I try to count these up, uh, these guys get in the way. Where is... Where's the tar? Wait here. Did a tar get stuck inside? It's probably backing up. There he is. Yeah. A tar. Stopped. What is yeah. it? No, you stopped. Come on outside. There we go. Okay. Walk this way. A tar. Not really pleased with your performance lately. Okay, Stopped. wait, wait here. Go on ahead. I'll stand guard. Okay, I want to officially count these now. I see eight there, eleven. That's sixteen. Nineteen. There's nothing under there. 21, 23, 25, 27, 27 plus 11, 38, 38 plantable plots. Let's get planting. <laughs> you think we were making money before. This is going to be nuts. All right. Um, first of all, we have some skill training. Yeah, let's just, uh, we got a little bit of business to take care of here to set this all up. And I want to continue. Yep, we have five skill training purchase rates. We're going to continue to work on enchanting. However, I believe enchanting is just short of the next level. So, first thing on the agenda is to we going? Lead the way. <laughs> because there's something else I want to do too. I'm tired of harvesting creep cluster. And um, an alternative recipe would be Dragonstone Fly Manita and Scaly Foliota instead of what we've been using. Creep cluster, more Tapanella, and Scaly Foliota. And I'm not going to be trying to harvest like a dozen creep cluster here. I forget, it. I'm not going to do it. And I did the same thing when I with my Hearthfire homes when I was doing the Hearthfire Hearthfire DLC. I eventually switched over to a recipe that it will make exactly I figured it out 14.3 percent less profit than the recipe we've been using now, but it will be a lot easier to harvest the ingredients. All right. Um, but first, believe it or not, we have to go to White Run and buy. A weapon that we can use that we can disenchant 
Cold won't be good for and start clothes. enchanting daggers with. This is just so that we don't Never waste is. a level. Because like I said, we are now just short of level 41 with enchanting. We can enchant a dagger and get up to 41 and save like, you know, however, however much it costs to do skill training. So, let's do that. I don't claim the finest weapons and armor. We're looking for turn undead, absorb health, or stamina damage. That would be great. One of those three. And the cheapest one we could find. I think absorb stamina is a is a high value one too. Bingo. That will do, but it's a little expensive. This one's a little cheaper. Okay, so we know she has that. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Be advised that as soon as you go inside the shop, they're gonna share the same inventory. She's gonna share the same inventory as him. So everything that she previously had for sale will be gone. So you're actually be better to check across here first and see if the drunken huntsman has a cheaper stamina damage or Hello, turn on dead or absorb held sure, weapon. Huh? I've got just what you need. No, he does not. Thank you very much for your business. Well, let's take a chance to see if we can find something cheaper. We've got small weapons. Take a look. Huh. That's really rare. It's a little more expensive, but it's actually a better, um, better enchantment. It'll make a higher value um, enchanted dagger. Let's buy this. But just to prove this, uh, some of you didn't believe me that this happened. That they share the same inventory once she goes inside. Or once even you go inside. Okay, so you remember what she had for sale before, right? See the iron great sword of archery. Just remember that. We're going to buy this and disenchant it. Okay, so once again, you're looking for either turn undead. Absorb health, which is what we bought, or stamina damage weapon. Buy one of those three. I help my father looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. See? She now has the exact same inventory that he has inside. And all the weapons that she previously had for sale are gone. So yeah, that's that's something right, to consider then. when you're doing this. Alright, so now that we've done that, let's go home. Did everybody make it inside? Great, good. You guys played nice on the way in. Okay, just chillax. You can have Nord meat if you want. Stopped. Leave my hunting it? brew meat alone. Go okay. Ahead. I'll stand guard. You, you're too young to drink, so you can have a knee-high grape soda. Okay, just wait here. And have a little nappy poo. And we're gonna disenchant. This. Okay, so now that we have we have the absorb health enchantment, we're gonna use that to enchant some daggers. And did that level us up? I don't think it did. Yeah, we're just short. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's take out you only need three, but take out four iron daggers and you're looking to have four filled soul gems. Doesn't matter. If you don't, we can always buy some. Doesn't matter about the how big they are. It could be petty, lesser, whatever. We have them. Alright? And that's all we require. So take a dagger. Soul jam, any soul jam. Enchanted with absorbed health. 
and we leveled up so we got a free level that's all we needed to do let's harvest the garden This damn creep cluster. I'm a real pain in the arse. Okay, that's it, creep cluster. Your days are numbered. Um, to switch over to the new recipe, if you want to do this, if you want to keep the same recipe, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to switch to the new recipe, leave the scaly folio that as is the three plots there. What you want to do is clear all these plots. These five more tabanella plots, clear them, and clear the three creep cluster plots. This is kind of finicky. I'll give it a shot now. I may end up doing it off camera. Okay, so clear planter. Smoke him if you got him. This could take a minute or two. Clear planter. Clear planter. There, doesn't that hurt? And over here, same thing, clear planter. These are easier because that's all Creep Cluster wants to do is give you the active, activate fertile soil. Okay, so now we got eight plots clear. We're gonna fill them up with four dragon's tongue and four fly amanita. And I think I've only got three, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah. Got lots of dragon's tongue. Okay, so we're missing one fly I'm gonna need to. Let me just dump everything in here. Alright, we're gonna yank out four dragon's tongue and now if you're missing some fly manita, you can easily just go to Riverwood, get some there. Or Catless Farm and get some there. Catless Farm is probably easier. On either side of this building here, there's Fly Amanita. One right here. I had this slack with Skyrim or what? Yeah, the one right here. Okay, so that's too easy, Fly Amanita. You're still missing some Fly Amanita. Go to Riverwood. You could also go to, um, we haven't been there yet, but you could go to Kynes Grove and go to the Steam Scorch Mine. There's 21 Fly Amanita in there, but we haven't discovered that, it's that yet. And we only need four, so just uh, for demonstration of purposes. Right in front of the inn here, right here. Some fly amanita there. And there's two more at the base of that tree right there. Alright, so everybody got enough fly amanita and should have a good supply of dragon's tongue from Tundra Homestead that we have left over from that. So everybody on the same page, let's go back to Mirror Watch. Everybody still here? Very good. And we're going to plant out the garden. 
let me just dump four fly into um, just to make it quicker because it's always a lot quicker when it's five or less in your possession. All right, so dragon's done. Dragon's done. Okay, so there's four dragon's tongue. We'll put one fly amanita here and three more here. All right, and I'm just going to wait and get these ready right away. Now, we don't want our followers walking away while we're waiting or sleeping. So let's Going. put them in follow mode. Away. And then let's just wait 72 hours. And we could also use some wheat and some blue mountain flower. Okay, so the garden has respawned. Great, this is going to be a lot easier to harvest. Great. Love it. So easy. What's the price difference? I'm going to show you right now. Plus, we're going to yank out, um, let's say, five blue mountain flower. And five wheat. Do we have any wheat? No, but we can get some on the way out. All right, so quick save. Let's slap on our archery gear or alchemy gear just to show you the price difference. All right, our original potion, power potion recipe was Creek Cluster more tapanella and scaly foliota Reed bluster more tapanella and scaly foliota I should have uh, that on board all right just for demonstrational purposes creek cluster more tap and ounce gilly foliota makes a potion worth 1814 gold all right now the new recipe is going to make a potion worth 1554 gold that's a difference of 260 gold 260 uh of 1814 is a 14.3 percent loss of profit that's all i'm willing to deal with a 14 just just round it down to 14 percent loss of profit in order to harvest the ingredients a lot easier because I'm like I said I'm fed up with harvesting creep cluster it's a pain in the arse right your choice if you don't mind harvesting creep cluster all the power to you if you want to switch to the new recipe that's how you do it all right done and done uh, let me just reload here okay now we want to plant at Golden Hills Plantation we want I want to save a few plots for some for some combat potions, specifically some restore health potions. And Dragon's Tongue um, yields four uh, plants per plot. Fly Amanita also yields four plants per plot. Scaly Foliola, Foliota yields five plants per plot. So if we want 40, 40, and 40. We're going to plant 10 Dragon's Tongue, 10 Fly Amanita, and 8 Scaly Foliota. That would be a total of 28 plots, leaving 10 plots spare, which we can use. This is like, this is the way I would do it. If you want to plant all power potions, go ahead and be my guest. But I want, you know, because it's going to be way overkill. We're not going to need all, you know, everything planted for money. You know, that's ridiculous. You know? We're already producing two ex excess here in mirror watch can you imagine 
how much more we're going to be producing to excess at Golden Hills Plantation. So let's put some plots for um, restore health potions, and you can see why later on. All right, so we're going to devote. I get a ton of blue mountain flower. And some other ingredients. You know what? I'm going to get organized next um, video off camera. And we're going to make a big patch of power potions for now. Let's go plant up Golden Hills Plantation. Everybody coming? There we go. Okay. So, like I said, all we need is... Ten of each. I've got that. Ten dragon's tongue. Got the ten fly I'm need it. And got the... 8 scaly foliota. We got the 5 blue mountain flower. All we need is 5 wheat. We just go here to chill for our farm. Oh, here come the authorities. Let's just quickly grab 5 wheat. Might as well grab them all. And yes, I know there's more wheat to the north there, but I'm not going to bother with that. That's it. Back to the farm. Let's get planting. All right, let's let's just first let's of all going. plant the Go followers ahead. so they don't Stand get in the way it. while we're trying to plant crops. Wait here. Quick sages in case he screwed this up. All right, now like I said, 10, 10 dragon's tongue, 10 fly amanita, and eight scaly foliota. Let's just plant all the dragon's tongue here. That's three. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, and just to stay organized, I know there's a spare plot there. Let's plant ten fly amanita over here. Three. Four. Five. Three, four, five. There's four here. Six. Seven. Huh. I just realized it's a good thing I did a quick save. There's twenty eight plots here. And we're planting 20 pl plants for our power potions. <laughs> Obviously, we should plant all the power potion residue. Yeah, okay, do over. Just thought of that. All right. Yeah, of course. 
This is our power potion pl uh, plantation, and that's our combat potion plantation. Because there's 28 plots here. That's perfect. It's just what we want. My bad. Okay, so I'll just um, skip through the planting, and we'll catch up to where we were. Okay, so we've got 10 Dragon's Tongue planted over here and 10 Fly Amanita planted over there. We have 8 plots left. It's getting kind of confusing. Okay, I had 5 there and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here six here left over and okay so it's these six this should be for scaly foliota oh i removed one damn it this was dragon's tongue It's these two are not planted. I did it again. Did I miscount? One, two, three, four. Seems like some of the plots moved. Okay, yeah, that's unplanted. I think I must have miscounted. Okay, it's like the unplanted parts look slightly dark, and I see seven slightly dark. And I want eight. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. Um, okay, one scaly foliota there, and we're gonna plant these six plots here, all the scaly foliota. To wait till everything comes up before I, and then make adjustments because I'm pretty sure I miscounted. Okay, now that's seven scaly fully order for sure, just to make sure that. So I have to wait till everything comes up. Let's plant one scaly folio to here just to make sure that we have enough. And that'll leave 10 plots which we can use for combat potions. Five blue mountain flower and five wheat. Trying to figure like the most aesthetic way to do this. Um, huh. 
Okay, let's put the wheat in the back here. mountain flower in the front. Yeah, put the lower plants in the front. I was a landscaper for 14 years. <laughs> so that's how I know this stuff. Put the tall plants in the back and put the low plants in the front. All right, so that's it. I probably screwed this one up over here. There's maybe one extra scaly foliota or one not enough one fly I mean, We're just going to have to wait three days and see how it comes up. I forget whether there's a place to sleep in here. Or if we have to build it. You give us a bed by default? Atta boy. Okay, so, um, or we could just wait. Let's sleep. And considering it's the first time we planted, everything should come up in one day. Indeed, it did. Okay, so we have the right number of wheat, we have the right number of blue mountain flower, we have a spare scaly folio to there. And we're looking to have 10 dragon's tongue here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we should have 10 fly amanita here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And six seven scaly foliota oh there's only 27 right okay right of course 27 plots here 11 plots over there so in fact after all my fumbling around they did it exactly right yeah, it's a done deal <laughs> nice long video for you guys it's in effect. Golden Hills Plantation is in effect. We are going to be a rich bitch. This is going to be nuts. So yeah, I'm going to be harvesting up and uh, got a lot of extra ingredients as well. And I'm going to like raid the uh, the lab inside. There's a lot of ingredients in there. And then we're going to make a whole bunch of power potions and um, yeah, do some business. That's all coming up in the videos to come. Thanks for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. Post a comment because I love to hear from my target audience. All right, see you next time for some more Skyrim Anniversary Edition DLC. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.